Hello everyone, Randy here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple yet delicious brown rice. I know what you're saying. I don't really like brown rice. Trust me, I didn't either. And this is coming from someone who loves white rice. I mean, absolutely loves it. I can live on it. However, I'm also trying to eliminate as many refined white products from my diet as possible. So I had to come up with a good, palatable, delicious brown rice. And I tinkered around a little bit, and this is a recipe I came up with. It's four products, one tool, basically. I have a cup of long grain brown rice here, a cup and a half of chicken stock, a cup of water, and I'm going to actually use a dash of salt. Now, how do I know it's a dash? My spoon says so. It says dash. Pretty cool, huh? If you don't have a rice cooker, it might be one of the things you go out and get. You can usually find them for about $20, $30. It's an invaluable um, kitchen tool. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do, Basically, just simply pour that cup of rice in. I'm going to pour in the cup of chicken stock. You can use beef stock if you're vegetarian. You can use veg um, vegetable stock, whichever one. I like, uh, uh, I like chicken stock. It's not quite as rich as beef stock, so it leaves a milder flavor and allows me to do more with it at the end of the day and, or at the end of the recipe, um, decide, depending on what I want to put on it. And there's my cup of water. And I am going to use my dash of salt. There we go. Top goes on. Push the button. There's a little button here. Takes about 40 minutes. So plan your meal accordingly. Most white rice take about 20 to 25 minutes, whereas brown rice will actually take you about 40 minutes. So I got this in, pushed the button, I can walk away. I can do it uh, a couple hours in advance. I can actually do this in the morning or I can do it right before it's done. I'll come back here about 40 minutes and let you see the finished product. Welcome back. Our 40 minutes is up and our rice is done. During that time, I've actually made some broccoli and a chicken breast to go with this delicious rice. If I'm at home, the first thing I'm gonna do is unplug the rice maker. It actually has a warming plate up under the bottom that will help keep it warm, but also make it stick sometime. So usually I'll unplug that to stop the warming process and to eliminate some of the sticking. The next thing I do, especially if I'm at home, is I'll go in and fluff the rice. And basically what that means is I'm going to take a fork and just kind of move it around and release some of the steam in it to allow it to stop cooking. That way it stays firmer. I really like a firm rice, almost like a al dente rice, if you're familiar with that term. And that'll help stop some of the cooking. Okay, I've finished fluffing the rice and I've taken the liberty of serving myself up some. I've combined it with some fresh broccoli and a nice lean chicken breast. I'm gonna add a little butter and a little bit of Cajun seasoning that's the way I like it. I could also add a little bit of teriyaki sauce and have a perfect teriyaki chicken. Give it a try. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you give it a try. I'll see you next time.